What's up Airsofters? My name is Lane and welcome back to the BB Warrior. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than our standard content. Today we're going to be doing a unboxing. Now the folks over at Lancer Tactical were kind enough to send me something to do some testing and evaluation as well as a review down the road. So that's the key word, something. I have no idea what is in here. So in today's video, why don't we open up this box and see just what we have in store for us. Now I gotta say, this couldn't have come at a better day. A snowstorm just hit, I got sent home early from work, but I got nothing to do but play with fun airsoft stuff. Also, huge thanks to Airsoft Megastore for sending this out as well, because this is in their packaging. So let's get that open and let's see what the first thing they sent us is. Is a nice don't tread on me patch. Thanks to you guys for that. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Packing slip, I am not gonna look at this because I don't wanna know what's in here. Let's turn that around actually for you guys so you guys can see it. Obviously, it's one of their new gen two rifles in here. I hope you guys can see that. All right, so now that we got it out of the shipping box, why don't we take a look at it? So this is one of their gen two, um, I believe only they only make M4s in this. So why don't we pop it open and see exactly what is in there. Oh, oh, that's neat. Okay, so I'll take the rifle out to show you guys. So this is, I believe this is the Interceptor, I believe is what it is called. And the reason why I think that this is pretty neat is you can either have, you know, your standard style flash hider where, you know, you could throw like a mock suppressor or something on there. However, if you want a different look, it does come with a sort of cap that it looks like just kind of screws on there. So if you want a different style of front end, if you like that like somewhat enclosed style, you can do that with that. So that's pretty neat. Um, kind of reminds me of like the SAI style or the gray, excuse me. So just taking my first looks at this, for being a gun that is made out of polymer, this feels really nice. Um, a lot nicer than I was truthfully expecting on this. So the handguard is, appears to be some sort of M-lock style of rail guard, and it is nice and slim. That's something that I like in my handguards. Personally, that's why most of my rifles are either like a key mod or a system like that, because I like being able to wrap my hand around them, even though there is no recoil in BB Wars for the most part. Uh, looks like it does include a pair of front sights, and it looks like all you gotta do is push these tabs back to deploy them. I'll uh, take a look inside, because I don't have too much hands-on experience with these. Oh, okay, so it does have a rotary hop-up. That's a nice touch in any gun. It does have the SOP mod style stock. Obviously, it is adjustable, and I like the pistol grip a lot. Um, I talked about this in a video last week, or whenever I did the loadout video. Um, I do like these more curvy, curvy style of pistol grips. So why don't we see what else is in there? So you got, uh, you know, your pretty standard high cap magazine. That's what most companies are going to include with their airsoft guns. So you've also got a manual, you know, pretty basic information on jamming rod, a bag of their 0.28 BBs. Now this is something that I wish more companies did. I think a lot of players are starting to realize that two eights are the way to go in almost every airsoft gun. And I like that the Lancer Tactical has come out and just included two eights. I know a lot of companies like to throw like point twos with their guns. However, I, I'm a personal big proponent of everyone should be using at least two eights in their airsoft gun. And, the, and then finishing it off, looks like we've got a charger. Looks like it is a smart charger because I see a little uh, light to identify when the battery is charged. And they do include a 9.6. 1600 ma as well so i'm impressed with this thoroughly um this would be a really nice backup gun um, i'm going to be using this as my primary for a couple weeks to get a real nice feel and how i like the performance i obviously can't shoot it today however this is a pretty slick airsoft gun and this is really really nice for what these things go for so again, I want to say a huge thank to Lancer Tactical as well as Airsoft Megastore for sending me out this today to take a look at it. I think that this is a really, really pretty rifle and everything, it feels so solid. For being a plastic airsoft gun, this gun feels fantastic and that's always one of my biggest complaints have been with plastic or polymer airsoft guns is that they aren't the most stable. If you remember back in the day, the old creaky Tokyo Maruis that were multiple hundreds of dollars, this just shows how far Airsoft has gone since I have started playing. So this is really cool. So I'm going to be putting this thing, 
you know, through its paces, seeing how it performs for its price range. And there will be an extended field review. I'll go out and get some gameplay with this for sure as soon as the mountains of snow that just arrived finally go away. But again, huge thanks to Lancer Tactical for sending me out this today. If you'd like to check out Lancer Tactical's products, I will have a link down in the description below to where you can check them out on social media as well as their website. Same for Airsoft Megastore. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for staying until the end of this little bit different video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love it if you joined our community by hitting that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that bell icon next to it for updates when we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday here on the channel. Make sure to check me out on social media as well as you're checking out Lancer Tactical. And I will see you guys next time because I'm going to go throw some cool attachments on this gun and have some fun with it. Anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next video.